guys, welcome back to Easy Street Garage. We're here at the garage today, and I'll tell you what we got ahead of us is we're going to review an aftermarket GC350R splitter. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's the deal. I went out, I sourced this uh, R splitter from eBay. Uh, the uh, ratings were good on it. The look seemed to appear good on the internet. And then the other piece of the puzzle was is that it says it is a uh, OE fitment. You know, I gotta be honest with you guys. You can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. If you put this next to an OE part, there is a texture issue. I've looked at all of the companion uh, hardware that they send. I've looked at all of the connection uh, points to this uh, splitter, and I have compared it to the OE splitter. And I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed that all of the mounting components are in the right place. Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reinstall our Shelby vinyls on the front end of this splitter. The key to this entire uh, deployment of vinyl to the splitter to me is a razor blade. And why that's important is because the razor blade to lift the vinyl and bring it over, put it in place, and then I deploy Okay, so what I like to do typically uh, on these vinyls is I'll either cut or tear away. Uh, for instance, we're going to start out with the S here. So I've actually separated the S from the rest of the uh, uh, of the vinyl uh, set up here. And then I'll just take my razor blade here and we're gonna lift the S, but I'm not gonna come all the way off of the paper with it. We're just gonna come off enough to really kinda get this thing started because what we don't wanna do is we don't want this thing getting all tangled up. Okay guys, welcome back. As you can see, I've got all the vinyl letters. Uh, they're laid down. I am a fan of Chemical Guys. I have a lot of their products uh, here at Easy Street Garage. Uh, one of the things that I use from Chemical Guys is, of course, the matte black detailer. However, I gotta tell you, I'm also a huge fan of Croftgate products, as you guys know. This is Croftgate's uh, Tire Shine. And okay guys, here's what I did. Uh, rather than going ahead and spraying the entire thing with one product and then coming back and trying to spray the whole thing again with another product, I did, I did a little experiment. And so uh, it would be interesting to see, I thought. So what I did was down at this end, so from this point on, I sprayed this thing with the Croftgate Tire Shine. As it came down here, with the Chemical Guys product. And I also sprayed it. You can tell right here, right right in this area is the line uh, of protected, unprotected. I, I really like this Tire Shine product from Croftgate. I've used it a bunch, so I've decided that this whole splitter uh, is gonna go Croftgate. And, and for, just for the simple reason, I, I, I really actually like the finish a little better than I, I gotta be honest with you at this stage of the game, I don't look at this splitter and say it's perfect and it exceeds my expectations because because it does not. It, this, this is not an OE component. I'm not 100% thrilled. I'm about 80%. There's some flaws in this component that just don't thrill me. But again, you put a splitter on the front of a car that extends as far as the R splitter does, I'll guarantee you somewhere along the line it's going to get damaged and you're going to want to replace it. 
and five hundred dollars is a whole lot more palatable than spending sixteen hundred bucks and it may be more but nonetheless this product looks good okay guys before we get started on taking off the standard GT350 uh, splitter I just want to try to come in here and give you an idea of what uh, this thing looks like and uh, you know before I remove it uh, we'll take a look at it the GT350 splitter comes in three components uh, there are these winglets on the right and the left hand side and guys you can see right here I mean I've I've, I've come all the way up here and I've, I think I've, that your GT350 splitter sticks out wait till that R splitter comes out here and it's really going to be in the way so I know everybody knows the difference between the two. However, I think when you have them sitting, like I've got these two sitting, you can really see that there's a significant presence in the R splitter. I'm, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. It's just really cool to look at it. And uh, so if you take the little winglets off and you compare them over to what you've got with the R splitter, that's a significant difference. I'm pretty... I'm pretty jacked over this. I think this is going to be cool. And that is that these C-clips, right? The C-clips right here, these have to be transferred over to the aftermarket splitter. So we're going to move those over next. And then we're going to get right into the unboxing, the unveiling of the Slip Low product that made it finally from California. With me, uh, because, you know what, quite frankly, this is really a... One of the fun pieces of the puzzle. I love unboxing stuff, uh, especially car parts. Uh, so anyways, here we go. We got the Slip Pro products open. The first thing in the box, look at that. Thank you for your purchase. These guys are very proud of themselves, an American-made company. And right off the, uh, right off the bat, I get a 15% off my next purchase uh, with this coupon right here. So we actually ordered... Uh, two kits, all right, because I wanted to make sure I had enough. And I got to tell you, uh, right now, that is really that's some quality. That's some quality uh, packaging right there, guys. See what's inside? Opening up the package again. I'm not disappointed. Slip low. Uh, it's basically the universal skid plate to so the installation instructions. Uh, they're all here. Very well done. Uh, thank you for the, uh, buying the product. Recommended tools. Uh, that you're going to need and so they go on through and they talk about cleaning the bottom of the product with at least 70 percent isopropyl alcohol so if you've got most people have like 91 i think it is you're going to need to water that down a bit they recommend obviously some adhesive promoter in my case it's going to be 3m adhesive promoter uh, the layout guys this is really really important we're going to talk about the layout we're going to lay this splitter out you're going to get a, a good idea of what it's going to take to put all this together. Uh, then, then the cutting of the product. Now this stuff is not easy to cut. Anytime uh, I'm using adhesive promoter or anytime I'm using um, the 3M uh, automotive tape, I, uh, I use heat as a catalyst, okay? And I'll show you how to get that, uh, that glaze going on the bottom of the splitter with a heat gun. Let's get started. Okay, guys. Just a couple things that you're going to need before you get started. I've already said this, the uh, about 70% isopropyl alcohol, that's going to clean the surface. Make sure you get a really good clean surface here. Uh, you're, going to need, uh, you're going to need some gloves uh, because we're going to be handling the, uh, uh, the 3M adhesive promoter. You don't want that on your hands. The other piece of the puzzle is I've made myself a template. The template right here is going to be used for some of these 
uh, really weird spots where I want to make sure that's exactly what I want to do yet. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a Sharpie. I use around the shop a silver Sharpie on surfaces like this. And then also you're going to need a tape measure or a ruler in my case. Now, this is really, really an important piece of the puzzle is having the right tools. And so uh, if you've never heard of this before, I'm sure all of y'all have, and that's the brand name Fisker. I really am a fan of these Fiskers. Uh, you may think of them from uh, log splitters, axes, that kind of thing, but they really got their start in cutting shears, scissors in this case. So I've got a really good pair of uh, Fisker shears here at the shop. This is what we're going to use to cut away or trim uh, this uh, really hard material that the slip low uh, is made out of. So paramount to start from the center, all right? So what I've done is I've identified the center of the splitter and I'm going to work my project from the center out. I'm really going to lay out where I want this piece of slip low. From there, I'm going to work this side of the splitter and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to work this side of the splitter. Back about an eighth inch from the front end of the splitter here. So I'm going to measure that and make sure I'm at least that far away from the edge as I move around this project. Take your time, there's no rush. Take the splitter off the car, lay it out. It will go as planned, I promise. Use the 3M promoter uh, because it's really important to make that adhesion last, okay? You wanna go long-term with this stuff. And I gotta tell you, man, this has made this splitter rock hard. The quality is good. I like it. It went on just as I expected it. The view from the front of the splitter is not horrible. I mean, you can I'm going to rate slip low on a scale of 1 to 10. Guys, I'm going to give this a 10. I really like it. It went on well. Uh, it was a joy to put on. Uh, challenging at times. You got to really start thinking through how the symmetry is going to look on the bottom. And... Um, you know what? I, I think it's spot on. Uh, I got a little bit of, uh, I had a couple little pieces left. I didn't have much left. I used everything. So I took a couple full little wedges and I kind of placed them in strategic spots right here. I'm going to take the camera down. I'm going to give you a closer look. You be the judge, but I do recommend this stuff and uh, I'm a fan. Slip low, nice job. By the way, I am not endorsed. I purchased this product and uh, I do that simply so that I can give a fair review when I do these uh, segments uh, on Easy Street Garage. Okay. So all of you guys that are consider yourself to be OCD, I know what you're thinking. There is a lot going on on the bottom side of this splitter. But you're going to see when I flip it over that it really isn't painful. I mean, it just doesn't look, you don't see it from the top end. Will it protect the splitter? Is it overkill? Man, I'll tell you what, time will tell there.
a nice close-up look uh, at uh, what the uh, what this uh, eBay purchased splitter looks like on the car. I got to be honest with you. Uh, now that it's on the car, I think it looks really darn good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think the uh, fitment was OE, no doubt about it. Uh, you always have challenges when you do a, a mod like this because of clips and all those other neat things. But uh, outside of that, she's on the car. She looks good. Nice. The next piece of the project is what wheels to put on this car. And I'm going to be posting that on the uh on the ESG channel to get your insight. We're gonna go with SIGs on this thing for sure. So I'm gonna be connecting with Terrence and we're gonna find out what we do. Until next time, please, it's all about the subscriptions, all about subscribing, and uh, I really had fun today. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, this is Easy Street Garage.